You've got data and you know how to get it into cloud storage. Now let's talk about who you want to have access to it. I'm in a sharing mood, so I'll give you permission to learn more. Today on Cloud Storage Bytes, we're talking about controlling access, keeping the right people in the loop and the wrong people out of it. Let's dive in. When you first create a bucket, you'll need to decide whether you want to apply permissions using uniform or fine-grained access. In general, we recommend using uniform bucket level access. This method allows you to use IAM to manage all of your permissions for all of the objects in a bucket. This might mean rethinking how you are picturing your storage approach. Let's imagine you run a dog daycare and you take photos of the dogs every day so their owners can log in and see what their pet has been up to. If you have a bucket of photos where you're storing all of those, then you would need to set the permissions for each individual photo so that you aren't sharing Remy's photos with Willow's owner. If, however, you create a bucket for each owner, then you can grant permissions for that bucket, lowering the risk of data exposure. Now, if Willow's owner adds a second person to the account, one permission change will share all of Willow's photos. That's because IAM aims to make authentication easier by giving you full control and visibility. Cloud IAM provides a unified view into the security control of your entire organization across your various Google Cloud services. This means there's one place to check for granting and reviewing permissions for employees, dog owners, visitors, other franchise locations, and more. So that's how uniform access works for cloud storage. If, however, you know you're going to need to manage permissions at the object level for a given bucket, then you can select fine-grained access. This option is mainly for integrations that rely on legacy access control systems for interoperability with other services. In addition to choosing between uniform and fine-grained access when creating your bucket, you also have options for special controls, such as signed URLs for accessing an object through a link for a set amount of time or signed policy documents to specify what can be uploaded to a bucket, or credential access boundaries to restrict the permissions that are available to an OAuth 2.0 access token. To learn more about these options, be sure to check out the documentation. And don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, and let us know what features of cloud storage you'd like to learn more about. Thanks for joining us for this quick bite of cloud storage.